Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I am in the Fateful Showdown event. Um, I'm having difficult against the uh, Scrap Heap Scrounger. If you happen to see my last video, I was uh, showing you some some strange behaviors on the, the game board. Uh, this video is actually to try and show off this new deck. I was uh, forced to use Energize in an event a couple of days ago. I, I forget which event it is. I'm, I'm bad at remembering the event names. Anyway, I piecemealed this deck together using um, a common common method I use or often. Uh, forgive me, I'm having a hard time putting my words together today. Uh, using Convert, Green Convert, I've got four cards that do it. Um, I can continue to clear the board over and over and over. And the idea is to match gems in order to uh, activate her ability here, which is Overload 2, to summon a 6-6 six, six Mechanical Beast token. Um, and anytime you match three or more gems, she energizes one. As well as this guy here, uh, Bristling Hydra. Uh, overload 1, he gets a plus 1, plus 1, and energize 2. That keeps the board energizing pretty good. As those energizings are happening, she's putting out creatures. Blam! Also, if Aetherworks Marvel gets onto the board, it's adding um, when you energize, uh, when you overload two and not three. I think this is pretty decent. Overload two, it's going to grab a card from your your library, put it in your hand, give it full mana, ready to go. Um, Soren the Vengeful. Honestly, I don't know why he's still in here. I just didn't uh, sort him out. I don't need him. For life with the Nissa, the Nissa cards and with Seasons Past. But that's okay, we'll leave it in for now and edit this later. I added Rupture Spire because Energized Gems do not convert color. And so the Rupture Spire will get dropped, clear out some gems, and open up new gems for conversion, which then creates new gems to Energize, so on and so forth. Um, we're going to try this guy one more time, and I will be out of healing gems. I'm using Garouk. I call him Garouk. Some people call him Garrett, and some people call him Jared. Um, I, I don't. I don't know what his proper name is. Anyway, uh, I need the green to activate this this deck to roll, uh, and then his second ability is really all I use with him. Occasionally, I'll use the third ability uh, if nothing else is working. But second ability to accelerate my mana draw. Or, uh, my card draw, I'm sorry. Accelerate my card draw, keep cards in my hand. Also, to gain life and destroy creatures. I think that his second ability is very overpowered. And so I'm happy to use it regularly. Um, let's do some gameplay. Uh, if you watched my last video, um, like I said earlier, I was complaining about some strange behaviors on the game board. I'm hoping that this doesn't happen again. If it does happen again, I will have it documented twice. Yay! But that also means I'll lose. <laughs> it seems to be going on a lot, uh, but we'll see. Um, we'll put this up front, but I want to wait until I have some of my activating cards. So let's just do some gem matches and let the game roll. His, uh, I don't know his entire deck, but the two most powerful cards in his deck are um, a creature that uh, deals damage to you when you break his supports and he puts out he has fabricate too mm -hmm. which puts out one one um, one one supports that boost his first character and then he has another character uh, I can't she's uh, I, I can't think of their names um, anyway what do we got here we need 13 mana we don't have that much on the board uh, we'll just make the match up here where it's suggesting and allow for his turn. Uh, the other character that he has is um, a character that does damage to you and he gains life uh, as you make matches and move on. Um, I don't I have six, I guess. Or I can pop this landfall... Actually, I'm going to go for a cheap Cascade. I'm going to use these Loyalty Gems, drop that blue Cascade, 
and see if we get anything rolling. Nope. Just some cheap mana. But it was worth a try. You got a couple cascades. This guy's going to get a little bigger. Um, she is what I need. So we're actually going to swap these two. And, oh, gracious me, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Forgive me, guys, but we're going to try this. Okay, so not going to go for a cheap cascade. We're going to go for a green swap, loyalty, and red. There we go. Now, nothing's going to activate just yet because it's not all triggered, but she's definitely coming out. And then with Seasons Past, we might get a Marvel as well. We did. It hasn't activated yet, so we're going to go another turn. There's his Fabricate. But my second loyalty ability is available, so I'll be able to kill a character. Wow. I hadn't seen that card yet. That'll slow me down a little bit. Not terribly, but a little bit. Um, we want to put this here and this here, and let's get some more cards, as well as get rid of his creature. Again, I think that ability is way overpowered, but you don't see me complaining. Uh, nope, nope, that's not what I wanted, I wanted that there. There we go. Can I get ten? No. 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 I don't see ten. But we will take the green mana and take our seven and hope we survive next turn. Well, we should. Plenty of black mana on the board, depending on what he moves. Plenty of black mana on the board. So we're going to take the black mana and leave the green mana to do conversions. We're going to play safe than sorry. And here we go. Uh, don't know how far this will trigger out. But uh, it should give me quite a bit. Um, this is how this deck is supposed to work. I'm starting to see some of the weird falls again. And I think, I think it's just a glitch as things cascade and are being energized. I think the board is having a hard time keeping track of where stuff actually is. And a couple of times I've noticed that uh, things will kind of be where they were and it shows them in an incorrect position um, but again we'll see uh, here is the deck is actually triggering if we had the Hydra out it would be triggering a little bit faster because more gems would be converting um, but as you can see the, the mechanical beasts are coming out they're six six each time and again like I, I'm constantly using the convert mechanic to trigger these these decks and as long as you have some sort of draw acceleration in this case um, this is revelation as well as the uh, uh, aetherworks nope we want to continue to watch this um, and because they were already on the board as long as I can keep her going um, nope, it looks like it's going to come to an end. Yeah, nope, we've got one more card coming. That's going to be a conversion card. It is not a revival. That's okay. Uh, we went from having a, what was she, a 3-3 three, three and a 6-6 six, six, to now having a 20-23 20, uh, 20, and a 65-65. 65, 65. And that might actually be a Nissa's revival in our hand. Um, and a 9, that's going to be, yep, Revelation, I got it wrong. Uh, that's going to be a Rupture Spire. And you'll see that the Rupture Spire will destroy the gems that have been energized, which allows for new Cascades. Um, and there you go, 7171. So, this deck is actually working now. I'm very excited about this, because then I can show this deck off, despite the fact that the last video I did with this deck, uh, I was not having as good a time. Um, 
there's not a lot to do here, so we're going to do like this. We're actually going to get rid of one of him in case our Aether works. This guy. Aether works Marvel can trigger. Uh, will red, I believe red will give me, yep, plus two, so it'll give me enough. We'll do that. And if this does enough, it should add enough of the uh, mechanical creatures to give us enough. To, uh, we're at 97 now. That's 103. There it is. That should be 100, no, 109. He's not going to attack. <clears throat> it's 115. So we just need one more of her or one more of her trigger to have enough to kill uh, our opponent this round. There, again, it snaps all the things. So it doesn't, with the... Um, with the Rupture Spire, it doesn't activate those gems, which is the only downside to it. However, it does clear the board, which allows for the conversion combo to continue. And there's our Revival, which gives us conversion combo. There's our creature. We are now at 121 damage, ready to go in this turn. And that will be enough to defeat the opponent. And finally, 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 and you get to bear witness... Um, complete all of the yes we want this to end we don't need to continue doing this and we'll be able to complete all the objectives take 40 or less and whatever oops almost hit quit wow that would have been disastrous I turn everybody off doesn't matter what we do we'll just match the gems they suggest and there we go that's game um i appreciate everyone who watched i'm glad you got here to the end uh that's the deck itself. I'll pull it up one more time so you can take a look at it. We'll go through each card um, slowly, and then if you need to pause, you can... Uh, okay, let's just go through this so we can get to the deck for everyone. Hateful Showdown. Um, these load screens are a little bit weird sometimes. I don't remember them taking so long in between matches, but they seem to be doing it more often now. I, I know it doesn't actually mean anything, but just me talking out loud. Okay, here's the deck one more time. Uh, we'll just start at the top the way it has it sorted. So you can see the entire deck if you need to pause to write things down or check your own library against it. There's a lot of mythics in here, but these are older cards. And like I say, this card could be swapped out for anything else. I wouldn't put a creature card in um, unless you have a creature card that energizes that you like better than the one that I have, uh, better than the Hydra. Um, but a lot of these are older cards, and so most players have had a chance to get them in their packs as times has passed. Um, I don't spend a lot on packs unless I earn it, and so I've gotten all of these by happenstance. Um, and then the one uncommon, which is hilarious. But there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.